Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're taking a look at RTrader Pro and we're gonna dive into some more of those Excel functions that we can use with RTrader Pro. Meaning we can actually set up RTrader Pro to uh, not only create a live streaming spreadsheet and get live streaming quotes into a uh, spreadsheet there for Excel. We can also submit uh, orders directly from Excel, but we can also set up essentially an automated trading system all within Excel. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. We're gonna to use a Bass Trade as an example, a bid ask spread scalper uh, system here we're gonna build. So to do that, we need a quote board. Uh, we have a quote board open here. You see I have the CL all ready to go there. It is updating prices. Um, to create the actual spreadsheet, we're gonna to go to the toolbar here. See there is the CSV option. One option we can use here is the create live streaming spreadsheet, and that's the one we want. We're gonna go ahead and just click on that. And that actually does open up a spreadsheet here. It's opening in the background, so I'm just gonna minimize RTrader Pro. Now you do notice that in the background here, I also have a order book uh, that is there. We're gonna use that just to reference uh, when we start actually placing orders and show you how those actually come in. So let's go ahead and just take a look at the actual spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet that is created has three different sheets in it. It has a quote board sheet, so this is gonna be basically exactly what you saw on the quote board. You'll see the instrument here and uh, the columns that you had configured. Now we also have uh, place orders. This is where we're gonna actually set up our uh, strategy here to uh, place these orders. So we'll set up the conditions for those orders. And we also have the quote board full. So this is where the actual data is coming through. So it basically grabs the symbol here and then all the different values that we would wanna access. So we have a variety of different columns that are available within our Trader Pro, and these are all live and streaming into this Excel spreadsheet, so they're not just a static value, they are dynamic and updating. You'll notice that, for example, the bid and offer prices should, should change here uh, a bit. You'll see that it did just update. So we can grab essentially any of these values within this sheet and use that to, uh, of course, uh, go ahead and write the conditions for our orders. So let's go back to the place orders sheet here. This is where we need to actually set up uh, these orders to be placed. So uh, the bid ask spread scalper here, the Bass Trade, uh, is essentially looking for a widened spread. So a spread that will widen to about two or three ticks, and then we're gonna submit two different orders. So the logic for this specific strategy kind of goes something like this. If the ask minus the bid, uh, is greater than uh, three ticks or equal to three ticks, we wanna submit two different orders. We wanna submit a buy limit order at the bid price plus one tick, and then a sell limit order at the ask minus one tick. So what this effectively does, if the spread is widened uh, to about two or three ticks, and we do submit those limit orders at the bid plus one and the ask minus one, we're basically becoming uh, the inside market there. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can build our system to replicate that uh, conditions. So let's go ahead and just build this out. Uh, again, we're gonna use two different orders to do this, so a buy and a sell order. We'll use a quantity of one. I'm gonna use the CL as an example today. So let me go ahead and just add those in. And again, we're both gonna use limit orders for the buy and the sell. So I'm gonna just type in limit here. So the limit price is where we want to actually, again, uh, our limit uh, price is going to be for the buy uh, for this first one at the bid plus one. So of course we can't keep typing in the bid plus one every time it, it uh, uh, updates. Uh, that would be quite time consuming. And of course we'd have to watch it. We probably wouldn't be quick enough. So this is where kind of the magic comes in with these streaming quotes. If we go back here to the quote board, again, we're looking for the bid plus one all we need to do is grab uh, the bid price. So this is going to update essentially on every change here, this cell. So if we grab whatever is coming out of this cell and put it into that limit price option, we essentially get that dynamic bid price. So one quick way to do that um, is just to grab here. So I'm gonna go to, to define name. I'm not actually gonna define the name, I'm just grabbing the name of this cell uh, in its full form, of course, uh, if you're, uh, accessing cells from another sheet, you need to type in the sheet uh, and then actually format these cells in a different way. So I'm just gonna grab that well, real quick here and I'll show you how to do that when we grab the offer price in just a moment. So basically I'm just gonna copy that and paste that here. So now if I paste that, 
You'll see it is now updating. That is the uh, actual bid price that is coming through. But remember, we wanted to do the bid price plus one tick. We didn't want the bid price exactly. So that's easy enough. It's still gonna grab that, but we're also going to add just an operator here, the plus sign, again, plus one tick. So in this case, in the CL, we'll type in plus uh, 0.01. Click enter. And now this is the bid price plus one. Uh, and that's gonna update dynamically. And we want to do the same thing for the offer, just the, uh, the opposite, so the offer minus one. So I'm going to go back to this quote board. Now the way I grab that real quick instead of typing that out uh, is just to right mouse click, select define name. Uh, of course, I'm not actually defining a name, although you could do that to make it a little bit easier. Uh, for example, you could just name that offer price. I'm just going to use the actual value here, so copy and paste. Go to place orders, and again, I'm just going to uh, paste that here. So now we want to do minus 0.01 uh, just to replicate that uh, same kind of the mirror image of that uh, limit price on the buy side. So now we have our uh, basically our setup here for our limit price. Now there are a few other values here we need to just go ahead and enter in. I'm going to enter in my account ID. Now here's where uh, these two fields uh, is kind of where uh, we either enable our strategy. So right now we're gonna disable it while we set up these order conditions in the place order now field, just so no orders are accidentally fired off. Now here is where we can actually set up the conditions to place these different orders. So uh, something like if, uh, in, in this case, if the ask minus the bid is greater than uh, or equal to two, three ticks, we wanna buy limit at bid plus one. And of course it's already set up to do that. And then we wanna sell limit at ask minus one. So all we need to define here at this point is just what's actually making us place our trade. And that is if the ask minus the bid is greater than uh, three ticks. Now we're gonna use these two values here, the F3 uh, and the F2, since these are already uh, set up. So essentially just to make it, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in if. So we'll type in equals if and we're gonna type in a parentheses. Now, if we go ahead and uh, you'll see that kind of mouse over, it says if logical test. So that's just telling us what our actually con conditional conditions are. So this is where we wanna define our conditions. So if logical test, so uh, in this case, what we're gonna to do to replicate if the ask minus the bid is greater than three ticks, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use um, these values here for our limit price. So if F3 is greater than F2, we want it to go ahead and submit an order. So we want it to say yes. If that's not true, we don't want it to submit an order. So we'll say no and we'll click enter. You see right now that that conditions is uh, not being met. So it's gonna stay at no. Now, as soon as that condition is being met, it will go ahead and say yes and it would fire off that order. Now our conditions for either of these orders is the exact same. So we're gonna go ahead and just copy and paste that. Oops, uh, let me go ahead and just uh, correct that. And we'll go ahead and just paste that, click enter. So now we're getting a no for each. Our strategy is disabled here, uh, but you can see it's basically going to depend on what these values are. Uh, as soon as the sell is greater than the buy here, it's gonna go ahead and submit that order. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just enable both of these. Now, uh, as soon as uh, those conditions are met, it would go ahead and fire an often uh, an order. So a limit order for, uh, again, the bid plus one, and then a sell limit order for the ask minus one. Now you can see uh, it can take a little bit of time for a spread uh, of about two ticks, which I, I think we need here uh, for this to actually uh, fire off. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna relax the uh, conditions here. So we can also use, for example, instead of F3 is greater than F2, I could do if F3 is greater than or equal to F2. Now, of course, uh, what I wanna do in this case, if you're changing around these values, is I'm gonna go ahead and just disable these. So that's a good uh, convention just to use, just disable those if you're uh, adjusting any of these values. So now what we're gonna do is if F3 equals, is greater than or equals F2, 
we'll go ahead and submit that orders. Again, we're just making this a little bit lax so you can actually see these orders uh, being uh, submitted. So I'll go, go ahead and enable those. Now watch these, uh, as soon as these two values are equal to each other, it will go ahead and actually fire off some orders here on our order book. So watch our order book closely, watch our Excel spreadsheet here. Everything is running, set up, and ready to go as far as placing these orders. We just need those conditions to be met. So now you can see that we uh, did actually see those equal each other. So these orders are firing off. So we did get a position there. You can see we actually have a uh, limit order still waiting, but we did get in a short position there. So as these uh, orders fire off, it can be very quick. Uh, of course, in this case with this type of trade, it's something that we probably wouldn't necessarily be able to do without the help of an Excel spreadsheet or something similar to help us automatically place these trades after placing our conditions. So you can see how you can actually use this to your advantage. Uh, it's very quick, uh, it happens instantaneously. You see it happen there again. We're seeing these fill, fills come in here as well as these orders uh, being placed here. So it's um, pretty easy here to actually set this up. So what we can also do in this case, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just disable this, is if you have a strategy that you did set up you can actually save uh, a spreadsheet. So if you uh, go ahead and save a spreadsheet, so just save it as a regular Excel spreadsheet, you can load this up at a later date. You don't have to set these up every time. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna exit out of this, but if I go back to my, uh, my quote board here, and I go to the section here for the CSV, I can actually open a saved spreadsheet. So if I click that, you see I do have a Bass Trade uh, spreadsheet set up, so I'll open. It did open the, up in the background, just like if I had created a live streaming spreadsheet. And you can see it's set up uh, almost the exact same way here as the other one. I had the quote board full. I have place orders. Of course, it's uh, set to disabled by default. Uh, by default. And uh, these are uh, live and streaming values here. So you can see, even though I just closed out that one I made here for this video and opened up this one I had saved, it's still going to grab those if I open that within our Trader Pro. If you are interested in receiving uh, this uh, spreadsheet here I made for the Bass Trade, please let us know. Uh, send us an email at support at optimusfutures.com to learn more about that or learn more about our Trader Pro in general or the features it actually does uh, offer here for Excel, such as creating a live streaming spreadsheet, getting these quotes in here, like you can see here, actually submitting orders directly from Excel, but also to set up things like these automated trading strategies that you can use directly from Excel without having to learn uh, a whole new programming language. You can use these Excel functions uh, to place these trades pretty easily. You can see just an if statement here is pretty simple within Excel, uh, not more uh, than just a few characters. Again, if you have any questions, please let us know at support at optimusfutures.com.